Hey guys, Moan Pobera here and today we're going to talk about what is the best business strategy out there and this is part one. Let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to this channel and you're watching this video on YouTube right now, this channel is all about basically me sharing and documenting my journey, being involved in more than 10 seven figure businesses. I'm here to share with you my lessons, my experiences, my mistakes and hopefully you'll get some value from that. I'm also here to show you some unconventional wisdom strategies. So things that work in the corporate corporate uh, financing basically strategies that work there with big companies and how you can go and implement them into your small businesses um, things that most people out there just don't talk about and I want to uh, share it with you so if you're new to this channel uh, like subscribe comment below hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos um, otherwise yeah let's get to today's topic so people always ask me one what is the best strategy out there to grow my business what is the best book I can read about this strategy where is the best seminar where can I go to learn the next new thing to grow my business? I need a strategy, I need the techniques, I need the skills to grow my business. What is it? And I'm here to tell you that before strategy, it's more about your mindset because unless you have the right mindset, there's no way that you'll implement the strategy. Now, maybe you're already a successful business owner and that's what you think. You have maybe a six or seven figure business, but there's something stopping you from growing to the next level and maybe there's a, you feel like there's even a glass ceiling holding you back and I'm here to tell you that it's most likely your mindset. You're not lacking the skills and you're not lacking the strategies. You're probably missing the mindset. Um, I actually believe in it. I'm not the first one to tell that that mindset is 80 success of uh, success. It's 80, 20, 80 for mindset and then maybe 10% for the strategy and another 10% for the actual execution of that strategy. Now, yeah, Obviously, you need the right strategy when you actually follow something. But I mean, business guys, at the end of the day, it's very simple. It's very based, straightforward and fundamentals. Like business is about getting more clients, selling, basically getting leads, selling leads and delivering good service or product. That's if you grow organically. There's also another way to grow, which is to grow externally by acquisitions, by buying other companies. And that is very basic as well. You need very basic fundamentals there. You need to know how to find those businesses to buy. You need to make offers and know how to make offers. And then you need to know how to basically raise capital for those deals to close them. That's pretty much it, guys. It's basic, it's fundamental. And to be honest, most of the info is out there. I mean, you can buy books, you can um, read the information online, you can watch videos like this and others. So if you have all the information why you're not multi-billionaire yet or you're not wealthy yet and I'm, I'm, I'm the same I believe that probably the the biggest things that holding you back from being in the next level is, is the mindset is my mindset and I see people and I, I spend some time with multi-millionaires and people who are billionaires Lily or, or some of them almost billionaires some of them are billionaires and what I found out is that the biggest difference between me and them is their mindset is their ability to really first of all um, they, they have the, the certainty and self-belief in themselves that is unheard of. And you probably say, hey, I, I have the mindset, I, don't worry about it. I, I went to the seminars, I, I read the books. But if you have the mindset, then why are you not where you want to be yet? There's something holding you back and the business is a mirror of you, your personal situation. I definitely 100% believe in that and I know that that's the case because I saw in myself that every time I change my mindset, then every time I have a breakthrough in my business. It's, it's literally, it's that simple. Now, alongside mindset, you don't just need, like, so what do you do to change your mindset, right? The best way to change your mindset is to be around people who already did what you want to do. So if you want to grow your business organically, go and find someone who will teach you A to Z how to grow that business organically, but make sure that they're keeping you accountable, they're giving you the support and the mindset support. If they don't give you all of those, if they don't give you the strategy and the accountability and the mindset support, it's going to be really hard to be successful. If you're only going to read, like most people will tell you, hey, just go and buy my course and, and you're good. But unless they're giving you the constant support, it's going to be really hard to succeed in this. And same goes with the other ways. If you want to grow by acquisitions, there's only a few things you need to do. You need a strategy, but you also need the mindset and accountability. That's what we're doing with our members in our program and we show them how to grow by acquisitions. The acquisitions on demand program is basically all about how to grow your business by buying other companies. And we not only give you the strategy, which obviously is important, but we are there to support you every second of the way. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to overcome your fears 
and you're going to self-sabotage yourself. And maybe now you're thinking, no, I'm not self-sabotaging myself. But again, if you wouldn't self-sabotage yourself, you'd already be a billionaire or something like that. There's something holding you back. Otherwise, you wouldn't even watch this video. Like there's something holding everyone else back. Otherwise, we would be to, in the next level already. And the best way, again, to do that is to be around the people who already achieved what you want to do. So if you want to buy a business, find a team to help you buy a business. And I think we're the best. If you want to grow organically, then find a team that can help you with that, that will show you the strategies on how to get leads, how to get sales, and will give you the constant support while you're taking action. Because in my opinion, going to an event for a weekend or buying an online course without the accountability and literally one-on-one -on -one support, um, it, it's just going to be really hard to make it work. You literally, like with us, we, we are literally doing it with you. We are doing it. It's a done with you program. And we're even investing our capital in some of those deals. So it's a really, I think it's a, it's a completely different world if you have the accountability and mindset support versus you don't. Like I have access to so many courses that I bought that I didn't even open. And even if I did, I was like, Oh, cool. It's a good, cool info. I know more now, but I didn't really execute because I didn't have anyone to literally sit there with me and keep me accountable. And unless you have that, it's really, really hard to progress. And really be honest with yourself and try to look at your personal situation objectively and your business situation objectively. Are you right now where you wanted to be, let's say a year from now or even two months from now, what were your goals for today? And if you are not achieving your goals every time, there's something missing there because you most likely have the strategy, but you're missing the mindset. And the problem is that most people won't tell you that it's necessary because they want to sell you the next strategy. They want to sell you the new skill, the new technique, the new ad platform, the new funnel. But it doesn't matter, guys. Business is about fundamentals. And unless you have the accountability and support, whatever strategy you have, it doesn't matter. And you buying again another strategy and another, another course and following another method won't give you the results unless you have the constant support and accountability. So make a decision. Where do you want to be? Where do you want to be in terms of revenues, in terms of profit, in terms of lifestyle? Like there's a business we're buying right now. It's an engineering business in the UK and we're buying it with the management team in place. So imagine if you have an existing business and you were to go and buy another business in your sector with existing management team in place, that management team can literally take over your role. So you basically have your lifestyle back. You want me to put as many hours as you do right now. Many times you won't even to put any hours unless you work. What I found out is that most people, when they don't need to work, they actually work the most because they found out it's the most fun. But I think getting to a place where you don't need to work is the first step. But then in terms of buying that business, like the business we're buying in the UK right now, the engineering business, we're literally the only amount that we need to put is a small amount, a small percentage of the loan that we're taking to buy that business. Now that loan isn't the loan that we're going to personally take, it's a loan that we're going to take using the business assets as collateral. So many people um, misunderstand the fact that they can buy a business with hundreds of clients, with a management team in place, basically double or triple their existing business revenues in a day by buying a business. I'm not even talking about profitability, obviously they're going to bring in more profit. And I'm not even talking about the cross selling and synergies that they can have between those businesses. And then they can also have their lifestyle back and time back and most people just don't know that it's possible. So I'm here to just tell you, first of all, make a decision. What are your goals and are you where you want to be in life right now? And if not, really think to yourself, what are the revenues goals that I have? What are the profit goals that I have? Maybe what kind of profit and income I want to take home if it's by taking a salary or consulting fees or dividends. Obviously, it depends on whatever you decide in, in your situation. But then also make a decision on your lifestyle goals and income goals and, and sorry, you know, lifestyle and impact goals. And what do you want to do in this world? Do you want to maybe grow a large company in your industry and just grow it by acquisitions? That would be the best way to do it because you can grow by hundreds of clients at a time versus growing by one client at a time. So really, first of all, make the decision. Secondly, so make the decision. Do you want to grow organically one client at a time and just have a chill business and don't worry about two things, too many things. If you want to grow fast, grow by acquisitions. If you want to do that, find a strategy that works now in 2018 and find a team that will help you not only with strategy, but with actually implementing with you and giving you the support and the mindset help. Because again, you're gonna have fears. Whenever you're gonna do something in you, you're gonna be afraid at first. And unless you're gonna have the people around you gonna tell you, hey, just gonna literally knock on your back and tell you, hey, you're doing good or you're doing bad, 
you won't know what are the best next steps and you're just going to make mistakes and you don't want to make mistakes in this space of buying businesses because every mistake can cost you a small fortune which unfortunately i had to um, pay some of those mistakes in the past so we are, we want to help you with that so remember guys whatever you are you're at in life mindset is key guys and it's not about the strategy strategies is important but don't fall down for those who just wanted to sell you another strategy again and again it's more about helping you implement stuff and trans basically it's about transformation nowadays and not about more information because all the information is out there so yeah that's kind of like summarize this this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you want to explore if your business can fit starting a phase of growing by acquisitions um, schedule a call with us go to moanpobert.com forward slash talk and just have a call with us see the details and we can learn about your business we can figure out where you're at right now in terms of revenues profit lifestyle and where you want to be and we, if we can help you bridge that gap through acquisitions we will show you how we can work with you otherwise we will send you to someone else who can help you so either way we are here to give you value so go to their modware.com forward slash talk if you want to learn more about that otherwise yeah if you're on youtube subscribe hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos and yeah that's pretty much it see the links also in the description below for if you want to join our free uh, mastermind business mastermind on facebook and do that right now and that's it i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon